All right, guys, welcome to IG Style Class, and uh, or just Style Class. Let's just call it Style Class. That's what it is. And we are going to have a really good show here today because we are taking things from C to P and P to C. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Big so. Key, little C. Yeah, and so <laughs> what that means is we are going to take items that might be inherently creative or inherently pragmatic and moving them along the scale. Because the thing about being a creative pragmatist is that you do not have to have an entire wardrobe for when you're feeling more creative, when you're feeling right in between, and when you're feeling more pragmatic. The idea is viewing your clothing and your accessories as tools in your closet to help you move along the scale. And the scale being important because it helps us convey different feelings, emotions, vibes, whatever it is that we want to convey, we can do it through the power of our clothing but having clothing that is still ourselves, so we haven't like gone off the rails. Yeah, I'm with it. It's funny because I think about the book mm -hmm. and I automatically put myself at C7, P7 mm -hmm. when you first wrote it. Where, where do you land? I'm right in the middle. Okay. I'm right in the middle, CP. C5, P5. But <laughs> one of the things that was a little bit of an emphasis to this was I asked you guys in my DMs last week to tell me what items have you bought in your past? What brands have you bought? You bought it and you thought you were gonna love it and then you didn't wear it at all. And it was really, really interesting because the brands you bought that inevitably landed really flat in your closet, tag still on, were brands that were either hyper trend cool, mm -hmm. um, great brands, but very, very hyper in that way, in a very one dimensional way or they were very hyper one dimensional in a bohemian, you know, way that you imagine maybe you thought you were gonna be floating along at the farmer's market every day and then you realize that you have a real job, you don't float, you actually walk on sidewalks. So all of these things like kind of like, like they stopped your real life. So where you found your comfort zone was in making sure that the pieces that you have acquired over time have that balance of chill, modern, and classic, and then when they do, you can dial them up or dial them down. So do you mind, I'm gonna start first, and then I'm gonna switch into something a little more. Let's go, P uh -huh. or C. But all. So just real quickly then, I'm wearing the Liam, which is the absolute go-to every time. I hadn't planned on wearing this today, but I got that DM this morning mm -hmm. from that woman who was obviously tortured by her stylist. Um, telling her that she should not wear something oversized and effortless in a right. meeting. Because she would look not strong or weak. Yeah, yeah. Pro proven wrong at the Greenwich train station this morning in all of the fitted suits. Uh, but the idea here is something as super pragmatic as the um, Liam with the Stella. Like here is full on suit mode, right? Like You mean business? I mean business, like I'd be like, sure, come on in. Um, no. And then this, I know, I'm scared. I know, I was no. like, I don't wanna have that meeting. No, not today. Um, and then throwing on the hoodie here for something that just really like in my closet would just take it down a notch. That was easy to just like pop it back because it's a dicky. Easy, because it's a dicky. Um, it, this is probably how I'm going like to the train mm -hmm. on an airplane. I'm wearing the sneaker and I'm right in the middle of the grid, right? Mm -hmm. My CP. I've got my blue earrings on here. But then if I were going out to a party, maybe it's a holiday party or something, mm -hmm. maybe I am going full on with all of this and maybe we're gonna wear something a little extra. So functional because you're warm, but then you get to the party and you take off this and maybe you, do you stench? I don't know. I, I've got, maybe I'm pulling my shirt out and rubber banding it or something. Okay, that's good so I don't feel like too, um, too, too like uptight Susie, yeah. Not that she's uptight, I don't even know who she no, is. No, Susie, if you're here, you're not uptight, but no. clearly if you wore this. Okay. All right, talk amongst, why don't you and Bryn have a combo here? We can, okay. So I think a little bit um, creative in wearing this dress. This is the Eco Silk dress with the cape from summer. Um, I think people usually wear this to something dressier and I wanna wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, especially to work. 
So wearing it also with a crop jacket, I feel like I can come to work and not feel like I'm looking kind of like I'm going to a wedding, but I could still wear this to a wedding with a pillow and a sock or also with maybe the Lux uh, Maxi. Yeah, I feel like sometimes the notion of a dress with a bit more volume or a dress that has more, you know, intricate components can mm -hmm. seem inherently quote unquote fancy. Yeah. But it, I think it's what you're wearing with. It's how you're, you know, using your modifier. It's how you're using your, you know, antonyms to really dial it up, dial it down. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, where you find yourself along the CP scale to find that balance. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I feel like if I took this off, so I have the tape actually, which I will show you guys. So, oh no, I have the cape oh. rubber band oh, in the back so I can wear it with something both rubber band. Yeah. <laughs> also rubber band. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a nice little trick. Yeah. But the cape kind of gives me this. So if I were going to a party, um, I would easily throw on That's this guy cool. over my shoulders. So this is not how I would come to work per se, but I could still go to a party and wear this. Or if I went to a winter wedding, maybe I would take these off and put on a heel with a stocking. Yeah, and I so. think this coat is probably, I think, the most versatile item in terms of, like, PDW. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, like the cost per wear of this is really, really insane. Yeah. Huh. So, but yeah. I asked Amy earlier, I was like, oh, I'm going to tuck my jacket. Like, she had this in her lamp. Like, all of us have these in our pockets, so I think it's a good thing to just... Or on our wrists. Yeah, or, like, just get them on the pack and just throw them in all your pockets. Tell me yeah. about... So, I am leaning much more pragmatic um, on the big P, little C. Mm -hmm. um, I am wearing the Marlin blazer in navy. This one has the cutouts in the sides. The Max does not, and the Liam obviously does not either. I'm wearing the Calder sweatpant in gray, and then this is just the mock neck unisex tee, which I did um, put a little rubber band on the back here because I wanted a bit more of a cinched look because I was wearing a blazer. Um, just a little bit more refinement here, but this is me leaning out oh, and the Rudy in the crop, um, leaning a bit more on the pragmatic side. So I know we always talk about your height, but I mean, in general we talk, but tell me your we height. Do, but and especially tell me, my height. No, but I think it's important to show where the length, where your hands fit. So yeah. could you take your hands out? Actually, this is a great question. I had somebody email me the other day who said she was my height, asking what size she should get in the Calders. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 5'2", the woman was also, she said she was 5'2", um, around the same weight as me. And so I take an extra extra small in the Calder. And long. Yes, in long. Yeah, and tell them why you take long. I take long because I really like to have the length. I do feel, find that my torso. Oh, that was profound. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Well, I think you and also, that, no. you said, are, are you shorter, shorter waisted or longer? I guess short torso, long torso. I'm short torso, long legs. So. Long legs. Yeah. But this is a crop pant. So yeah. you don't prefer it to, be, you don't want it to be as propped as it normally is. No, I don't. I really want it to, for me, this acts as a pant. This acts as a denim wood. It acts as a slack wood. So I want it to be the longer length. So you prefer more coverage. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it acts as a very, it's a valve piece. I just want to show them the blazer really quick. We did this like little detail on stories about the length of the blazer and the differences between the blazer. So this is a more tailored blazer with the slits. It's a half slit. So she turns to the side, you can see only a little bit of skin is popping out, but you could still pop out your arm out of the sleeve. And the length for it's 5'2", it's kind of touching. And this is the size 4. So I take a 0 in the Marlin blazer just because I'm larger on the chest. And for me, being able to button it is very important. So I have to size up for my normal double zero. So a critical measurement point yeah. is bust here. Yeah. And the bicep is kind of snug. Cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pop out for a second. Hey, Sarah. Cool. Okay. Or Amy. Amy can pop. Oh, or Sarah. Sarah. Amy. Can you like your change? Okay, I'll pop on. Yeah, I'll go together. What's going on with them? Where are they from? My earrings? Um, I can't remember now. JW, uh, was it? Um, I'm going to tell you right now. They're Christopher Kane. Oh, yeah, Christopher Kane. That's right. Christopher Kane and Balenciaga. And these are absolutely my go-tos when I need like bling bling. Um, so I'm pretty like creative for me. Like this I think is... this is very. I mean, I think that the t-shirt is kind of when I know you're about to like really lean towards the creative side of the scale. Like the t-shirt comes out whether you're yeah. layering. I mean, as a layering tool, whether you're layering it or it's a vintage t-shirt. Yeah. That's when I know you're like feeling like you really need to push the creativity. 
So for me, when you're, so someone who resides in that middle of the scale, obviously the double layered slip dress here, I mean, you'll find me all summer in this, but oh, just yeah. like a little black slide, even the Cellini Birkenstocky one, right? But dressing this up in a super creative way for me, it is definitely like going with the red tight. The red shoes here, this is our red uh, sandal. It's in the three inch heel. And I know guys, this looks a little deceptive because doing the more, um, put my foot up here and see if this helps, but doing the slimmer heel, what it does is it gives the illusion that it's much higher than it is. So this is three inches. You absolutely can run around all day in it. I mean, I think, um, and, you, and I can't run around in four inches. So this is giving me the height. I love how the red tight or the red sock and the red shoe gives it like this weird mm -hmm. boot element. And then for me, um, really mixing this with this like tweed is really bringing yeah. it back into this my bonded from blazer. It's it really is like a super dark, subtle plaid that really gives off a tweed vibe honestly it's like when you see it in person you're like oh wow i had no idea that, that it's that yeah. many different tones because they really do all blend together yeah and it feels and what i love is this is something that i'm wearing with jeans mm -hmm. and then it's something obviously that i'm wearing very dressed up out to totally. the party totally. and i have this with the so this is so my, i think this for me is definitely middle ground yeah like this is not super creative for me yep not super pragmatic for me but um i'm going to use the grand de Poudre skirt as a base um this is my favorite skirt from fall i really love the side detail that comes into this like nylon accordion mm -hmm. um, and so for me this alone allows so much different styling yep. with this one piece like yep. it really is built in for just optimizing really where you want to be on um, our scale, regardless if you typically lean more creative or more pragmatic. Um, yeah, I had a stylist yesterday. She wrote in and she was like, I've got a client. I need to go visit her. She wants the perfect trouser skirt. I was like, this is the perfect trouser this, skirt because it can be the perfect trouser skirt, totally. but it's also the perfect pleated skirt. So, I mean, this for me, like, this is our trouser skirt. Yeah. Like, we... I mean, we definitely design with the idea of past, present, and future in mind. And like, when it works, it works. Yeah. And so I love our update for fall with the accordion pleat. Um, I'm wearing it with, this is a double zero. This is my size. I'm wearing it with the double-faced cashmere in black, maybe? black. black from winter. Um, in the crop Could be version. navy. Could be, Could be navy. navy. Could be black. Here. I think it, it is black. It's black. It's black. It's We're going to confirm that was yeah. not like it's whatever you want it. There is a color. <laughs> but I also think too, a lot of people, you they'll write me a random question. Mm -hmm. They're like, I felt great in this pleated skirt here. And I wore it with this. And then I wore it with this. And I didn't feel great. Totally. And I'm like, guys, every time, remember the antonyms. There is the a full on um, section in the book just on antonyms for totally. that reason, because it will absolutely help you out. But also don't forget the hairy antonym because both you and I, mm -hmm. We are a little more dressed up right now. And both of our hair. And both of our and hair. You know, I was actually thinking that. So I'm like definitely not a cropped topped person, but I think with the longer skirt, especially on me, because I'm five feet, um, I wanted to show a bit of a proportion play. Yeah. And then to really just like add the creativity that I think allows for that balance, I went with this commando tight that's more of like a lattice. Print, um, and I hiked it up so it's actually creating more of like a waistband um, and I can like pull it up so it's just one I can lower it so you can see more and of the waist and if you had your hair like I have my hair like that like it's such I don't an know how I've ever seen that hair it's now. this like a it's part like, it's just such an outfit yeah you know and so it's it's really your comfort zone because someone else might be like finally Amy you know my mom might be like thank you Amy oh. But um, for me, I get self-conscious here. Right. And like, so this is like pulls it right, literally, quite literally, yeah, pulls it back just, into like, my space. Solidify, to pull it all together. For me, I put in one of our headbands for yeah. spring because I also think it kind of added this like 
sporty element that I'm getting with the nylon, and then I wanted to just ground it with a brogue. And then I love this like mixture you've got going on here. So, hi, Chris. <laughs> I've never been so tall. I know. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm obviously a huge fan of like the dressed up sweatpants. The gray calder is like my favorite. I mean, we guys, we obviously have, cal calders are fundamental. We obviously have seasonal colors, but this Heather Athletic Gray, I really love because it is such, it, I mean, it is a close color to your like gym class sweatpant. And so yeah. I think with this top, that juxtaposition is just really good. It's like really finding the ant mint of what this Absolutely. can stand for and kind of remove This is back. definitely, so this is your more creative. This is my I'm big C little this P. Is your, <laughs> your big C little P. You're also doing the red. We're really feeling tight so yeah, we, right now. You Wait, do you have a cut cheese Yeah. I, I, I'm like, is this the top of your tights? So this is the top of the tights. I'm mean, also glad to your size large tights. So no, like, I, I love this big band at the top. This is yeah. very helpful. Yeah. So um, shout out to Amanda. We're learning a lot. Um, no, so more. So like, if you guys actually look on the website at some of our fall, I mean, some of our winter styling with these double face cashmere sweaters, especially, we pair these tights underneath. And so I, I'm gonna come up close so you can just see the difference. So it's like. The waistband of this, the double face, and then the um, Grand de Poudre skirt. So even, Sorry. thank you. Um, and so like I said, I, I have a little bit of the pattern below, but yeah, I mean, I really do think like poetry as we can all attest to is really what is used to dial up and tone down your outfit. Like if I was wearing a navy sock, I would still feel like me, but it would definitely be more pragmatic. And I really wanted to show you guys where I stand in the middle. And I think it's not in This is <laughs> definitely more creative. And um, how would you feel like if you closed the zipper on this? How would that so, be for you? Honestly, it would make it a little bit too reserved for me with the black. If I was wearing like just a white tank top, mm -hmm. no tight. I then would feel very minimal and sleek, but um, I don't know, I, I kind of like, need, because it's all black for me, I need that extra texture and that extra shape. Yeah. Whereas like, I think adding color um, really adds that point of interest. Otherwise I'm, I'm using white as a color in this scenario. And like with the, um, with an unzip, you're giving like ton. Yeah, texture. Well, I'm giving ton with texture, but I was right. saying you were changing. Like for me, this is very CP in the middle for me. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because I'm gonna, we're gonna show you. I'm gonna go really creative, and then I'm gonna go super pragmatic, but still like within my wheelhouse. Yeah. But this, I feel like, is really the happy medium. Yeah. And I feel like that movement also adds like that extra element of texture. In the, yeah. the, the, the right. Well, I'm gonna go spot. I'm gonna put her turn on. Yeah. Oh, it's it's. Hey. This is coming around. Um. So, and so the same sweatpants I was wearing. These shoes are coming soon with resort. And then this is the schema top from Winter. Um, it is intentionally right off the shoulder. Okay. Oh, what clothes do we wear? Oh, well, you were telling them about the schema top. Yeah. Um, so it's intentionally off the shoulder. It's got great structure. It's got, would you call it like peplum? I mean, peplum to me in a weird way. It's like corset meets peplum. It's like it corset meets peplum. There you that go. That is what the rack said. <laughs> AB the behind rack. the rack. Talking rack behind us. Because there's no off pier seam. Well, can you come a little closer? So I, you'll see the seam in here. There's like, yeah. it, there's a gusset that it feels. It's just a lot of great seaming, which I think is almost akin to the vintage dresses that yeah. we know and love. And you have the same se seaming in the back. It's like princess, but not. And then this big, great band. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Sorry. This wide band at the bottom is really interesting because it gives it a little bit more interest and it also yeah. gives it a little bit more of a shape. And I will so, say like the fabric has structure in itself. So, so it, while the shape is also structured, the fabric in itself holds. Yeah. Wow. Got that sentence out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm like struggling too many of us are. Um, so yeah, I, when Sarah said that she was kind of like 
in the middle for herself. I think I'm not far for myself. I think I'm dressed as I would be for like something, but it's a little matchy. And I guess for some, this would be conservative. This would be a little bit more pragmatic. I love showing you that you can take the drapey skirt. I've turned it around a la Emma Hey Girl like and put the that. zipper in the front because it gives it a little bit more yeah. edge and everyday okay. feeling. Um, those that were buying this for like New Year's Eve parties, this is the way I would wear it if I were going to work um, and trying to transition that into another event after yeah. work. I took the Davenport and kind of unbuttoned it to the third button and then I pushed it sideways so it's kind of a draped situation and then I just wrapped my neck around. So, but if I were to change this up a little bit, I would probably change my shoe, which I can show you, mm -hmm. just to push it a little bit. For me. And you're intentionally wearing that backwards. Which thing? The skirt? Yeah. Yeah, I'm intentionally wearing it backwards just to show the zipper. To give like a zipper vibe. Yeah, yeah. because it's, to me, it's like a little bit more casual in the front. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So. Because I, I do like the way that gives it the casual vibe. Yeah, it feels like I'm wearing it every day versus yeah. more, like, are you going to a party? Yeah. I don't know. And I think one of the things too that we talked about with this skirt is it's a really good definition of um, the rule of three mm -hmm. because we were saying that how this feels very detailed and interesting, but it's still very calm. Mm -hmm. And I think in this color, it's the same thing. But if this were like in cherry red, I'd be hot mama. Highly problematic, right? Like you literally <laughs> would look like Scarlett O'Hara in your dreams. So I was I, thinking like steal your man, <laughs> like uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so no. Um, but then we were saying like if it was a full on sequin skirt, like a clean pencil skirt, that's where you can do like a really bold color. Right. But if it's a sequin skirt with chiffon inlays and all that, you want to peel back to neutral. Something neutral. So that rule of three is really about within an item how many distinct things are happening there. Mm -hmm that's giving it... Um, if you're gonna go bold or if you're gonna go a little bit more neutral. Yeah, the bolder we get with the print, the bolder we get with the color, that's the why the eggs, mm -hmm. Iggy Glossy or Sculptural, and that rule of three are really, really critical. Uh, and it's why, guys, when you buy like a printed dress, but it also has like ruffles and details and seams, that's when it goes too far. And it's why if you look at a runway show, brands like Balenciaga, like when they do a full on printed dress, because they do, it tends to be very like clean and one note in the styling. And that's why a lot of people find a hard time to get more cost per wear with it because you no. don't know where to go with it. There's nowhere you can go except for that place that's... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Um, so I'm in the middle of the CP scale here. So I've got on the same uh, commando, same but different. Mm -hmm. um, tights that Sarah was just wearing. That's past um, okay. quick, quick change. And then just moving it on with like the white pump here, mm -hmm. which I love because, you know, as a creative pragmatist, something like this pump is absolutely something that is full on like office appropriate, mm -hmm. but it can also go out at night to an evening event. And it's, I think it's because of all the cutout detail because it, it used to be a thing that when you wore something really dressy, if you wore a regular leather, mm -hmm. it really like felt way too patent. Yeah, it just was. It, it but patent it, feels too. Yeah, patent. Well, patent's a good like juxtaposition mm -hmm. for evening stuff. But um, I think when it was like you don't want to wear like your office work leather shoe with something that's designed to go out at night. But I think with all the cutout detail this keeps it away from like the leather office shoe. And then I just wanna show you guys, I'm wearing the slip dress here. And uh, and I think what is really special about this dress is you have, it is fully, fully double layered here. So it's got so much like oomph to it mm -hmm. and it really like keeps it quite strong we had somebody get this dress in and they sent one back because they thought they got two so no, I, for real? I think that's really sweet but also oh. it's like you you deserve that <laughs> you pay for it and it gives you the modesty that you oh that's so, yeah that's all sounds or get to a friend <laughs> sarah had we've got these cool polo shirts for resort and it looked really nice too when she had styled one with like one of the sides like just kind of mm -hmm. hanging down which 
you know, again, like even that is kind of interesting to give like that double layer. Yep, and you get the, the ruching of the sharing yeah. here and there. So guys, we didn't accidentally ship you two. It's one, same with the top, but if you get two sweaters, please, thank you. Let and also, know. how often do you get a dress and you wish you had it later? You wish you had two of them because one goes out, so you'll always have a second one. Voila. You're welcome. Exactly. Um, I want to talk about that white shoe. So Amy had on a white shoe. It's a very special white shoe because it's not like a stark blue, like, would you call it like a bright, bright white? It's kind of like a soft white for those that are like writing us about their paint yeah, colors it's on the wall. Some good, like, um, it's some good eggplant in there, but not too eggplanty that it's like, I think oh my it's God. like cloudy gay white. Like, Let's see. So if I'm oh, compared yeah, it to this, because I think this is a great comparison. So here you would want this to start as your white shoe because it's your sneaker. This is a, like a softer white. So that's that. I want to change my shoe. Let's see. What are you going to change? Well, I'm so going the sandal because under here, I may or may not, I want to be on the, the and I'm, top tribe. And I'm going to change into the um, pattern here because that's what you were asking about. So this pattern is coming any day now as well. Mm -hmm. And this is one that um, what I love with the black pattern here is if I'm going more pragmatic and maybe the event is not like so, so fabulous, maybe I want to tame it down just a little bit. I'm just going to go with the, the earring style here on the right. But dressing this up then with this shoe is really nice. And what happens here is one of the things that you guys feel is if you're wearing black on black, you can start to feel very um, heavy and covered. And so really this is where mixing in the fishnet tight here and the open sandal will give you uh, a lot of openness, but still feel really, really appropriate for winter time. And this is um, the other shoe here. And you can see that if I were going to an event, if I were to, sorry, I keep grabbing the wrong foot, but like if I were to switch this out for a black boot, it's definitely a great look, a great vibe, but it's it feels more, um, it's just much more covered. So it depends on where you're going to. All right, so I'm gonna put on the Croc Dean boot here. And, you know, this is a great look, I love it. But if I'm going to a cocktail party, I'm more apt to wear the sandal shoe here. And if you're wondering if I look like I've been cooking over a stove for like <laughs> eight hours straight, know this, I don't cook. So clearly, I was like, uh, that's not. Uh, no, 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 I had, um, I had laser. I had, it's called Moxie. M-O? M-O-X-I. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Definitely not sponsored. Uh, but well, we'll we got see. the before, so we're definitely going to get the after next week. You got the before. Tune in next week for I look the like after. I'm really hot, but I'm not. I'm actually really cold. I'm really hot, so there's that. <laughs> well, it capital I H. I don't think it's boiling. In Somebody said that. hot like H A U T E H A W T. All of the above. Yeah. Tell well, us well, you guys could be the judge yeah. next week. All right, so <laughs> okay. no, sweater, no. same sweater, same skirt, I skirt turned it. around. Yeah. Thank you. You like that? Place? You look hot. Thank you. All of the above. I am all three hots. <laughs> all right, so same cardigan, buttoned up, tricked out. I'm going somewhere. I have the little card here, a little bit of, you know, too hot for TV. And yeah, I feel creative in this approach of wearing the cardigan with the skirt if I were going somewhere. This is like, after work, maybe I'm getting dinner and drinks with friends. Um, maybe I wanted to take the shirt off because it's a little warm or, you know, I just want this part of my decollete to show. So that's what a, that a decollete. Oh, I don't have any of those. Um, I think you have a decollete. I think, I think what's so. below it is different for all of us. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I have on the red socks. These are stockings that I had that I cut and I'm going to show you the alleys because I know you have them and we should put those to work. Cool. All right. No, no. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, as you guys remember, I'll remind you, I was wearing the Grande Poudre skirt from fall before. I'm still wearing it. This is definitely the most pragmatic for me. 
Um, I'm wearing it with our wax cotton car coat from Fall. This is the extra extra small. This is my size. Um, I absolutely love this coat because I truly think it is an outfit maker. It has the ability to dial up and tone down basically anything that I'm wearing. Um, I love kind of the illusion to prep um, and the wax coating, you know, is very, very traditional in that way. Um, but I'm wearing it with our uh, sheer gauze tank from winter in black. This is a style that we have done a few times. Um, you know, we had them for fall and then we did them with, for spring, um, really emphasizing the bust area. And then for fall 23, we went back to kind of the original um, cut off shirt. Um, around my sweater is the, I mean, around my jacket is the Mercerized Wool Cardigan in Midnight Navy. This for me, if you guys watched our all day style class, you know, I bring this sweater with me everywhere. It is tied around my bags, tied around my waist, um, through the little silver hoop on the back of your blazer at all times. And I'm wearing our new white Ranger shoe, right side for resort. This is our next iteration of the Pedro. So if you have the Pedro in the brown or the navy, that is a Napa leather. And this is a patent and really, um, what's it like, squishier, what would, how would you describe it? It's, it's a nap black. Nap black leather. Um, like half black, but nap black. Like half, you heard it here first. Um, and this is launching, the shoe is launching for resort in white, black, Black patent, red patent, and green patent. And we intentionally did it on a little wedge. We didn't just. Yes, it. and we, Amy just pointed out, we intentionally did it on a little ledge like this to add some extra support. Um, it is super comfortable. It's so good. And what I love for me is adding the icky glossy element that I need for this outfit. I think it adds a little bit of polish and refinement. Um, and this is just like the really pragmatic version. Of myself, yeah. That is. It is literally like so pragmatic. This, yeah. Absolutely. This is me, like in yeah. When we're like in your, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like, I'm pretty you, like, sure. Interviewed for your job. You're, like, you know, that's not how I interviewed for the job. <laughs> were you wearing all navy? Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. You're. You're to those details. Trust me, I tell you, if you rob me and you're dressed well, I will be able to describe you perfectly to the cops. Ooh, I love. Um, All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that with the OL. Oh, I mean, that's your twin. So um, I'm wearing the ruche skirt here, and I'm right in the middle of the scale here between creative and pragmatism. So I think I'm like a perfect CP. I've got on my very, very functional sweatshirt. I've got on the skirt here and then a pair of boots, but I'm gonna show you if um, if I do lean around here and add in just the heel, you can see how it's gonna really change the vibe a lot. And um, I'm gonna be a little skimpier than I ever normally, <laughs> normally am. Um, but if we take this off, uh -huh. I know. It's so, actually a good look. So revealing for me. Well, let me get the, uh, here, come on here. So it's also spare, like, on every count here. Here, you do that. I'm going to put okay. on the top here. All right. So on. I will stand in Amy's stead. Um, I told you guys I would show you about the alley and a sock. So here I'm wearing my summer alleys with the sock. This is styling from last year's spring show. We actually showed stockings with the alley. So I definitely think this is a good way for you to kind of put that to use if you're someone that wants to wear your flats or your alleys. I'm wearing it with the Ion Bernard Sat um, silk skirt and a hoodie, which I think is a very pragmatic way to wear this. And I'm gonna dial it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm into it. Oh, well, while Amy works it out, I think she's working out in a great I'm way. So I will work it out in real time because so I have weird. no shame. Oh, oh being scampy. <laughs> well, I had to grab the, and, and honestly, I'm probably gonna go with the Liam here for a little more like width. I should grab you the Liam. But, I think this is um, great because you're seeing it in real time. Yeah, because I mean, for me, like this is 
This goes to prove nobody can tell you what you feel. As she can't come out of the, her dressing room just now and you say, Amy, you look amazing. It does not matter. Yeah. Because that's I, how she feels and you can feel it, right? Um, All right, let's see very, what she Very, very, um, not, I just, it's like the whole thing, like, I'm. This is the, this is the, this is the mess. Oh my God. Wait, wait is this the, wait, is this that the Liam? Liam, okay. Liam. okay. So okay. I'm way too, this just feels. And this is a thing like you can. What did you say? Oh, I know. You were like, I can breathe now, and and not physically because I can mm -hmm, breathe. Mm -hmm. It's a different kind of breathing. And this is where guys, yeah, no one can tell you what you look like coming out of the dressing room. And I remember very specifically, we were at a store, and and ironically, it was something from the row, and it was so fitted. When I came out of the dressing room, and Frank was standing there, they were like, Oh my God. You may see your body, this looks so good. And they're like, your husband's gonna love this. Yes. Like, mm. And Frank was like, that's so, you look so uncomfortable. He knew my face, he was just like. Nobody wants so to be out all day with somebody that's uncomfortable. Right, but the thing is, is someone asked, well, they asked me, they're like, well, are you wearing this head to toe and why did you put it in the line? Mm -hmm. And it's cause actually this, I do love. Mm -hmm. And I loved it with the sweatshirt and I'm putting the, going to put it on with the white mm -hmm. shirt mm -hmm. here. And then I love the top with like a big black skirt or a big full pant. Mm -hmm. um, but just because I love all that doesn't mean that this. It doesn't matter what I, what I think. I'm like, like, I know. I was like, like oh my God, you, you like it? I do. I, I like, I think it's two things. I like the color on you and I am seeing a different silhouette for you. So I'm kind of taking it all in with my eyes, but like clearly you're sweating. So we're both hot. <laughs> it's like, we're all the hot. Or I fried my face. We're so. fried and hot. Um, but I think it's, I want you to, as a friend, I want you to be comfortable. Thank you. So I will not Thank force you. that on you. So no, I think stylists to, are your friends. So. Right. They shouldn't be forcing things on you and they shouldn't be telling you what you can and can't no. do. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. 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 So since Amy's gone there, I'm just going to show you <laughs> the difference of what I feel like in the white versus the black. I like having white on. I think I was inspired to wear the red socks as, um, Sarah had them on last week, they were peeking through, but like now I have socks versus stockings. So, go ahead. Let everyone see what a quick change. Hey. <laughs> oh, voila. That's the fastest. <laughs> it's straight comedy. She won't. So, that speaks to the okay. ease of this skirt. It <laughs> literally to be chill, and it was very chill because here I am right back. Wow. Okay. okay. Talk. So, no. oh, no. Here but we go. I had it layered. Well, I did have it layered. So, this is the same skirt, but people are asking, like, oh, how does it fit? How does it look? So that's how the white looks. This is how the black looks. You know, you want a quick? Yeah, this is a quick one. I wear it with tights. I wear it with a longer shirt that covers the, the things it's supposed to cover or a jacket, which is the Liam. Yeah. I feel good about it. And I think like nobody should be fearful of like the little more sheerness that comes out of it. Sheer is a tool, as we've talked about last week, as we like continue to talk about it, is a tool in your closet that you can utilize. But if it's out of your comfort zone, then there are ways to work around that. Because I think yeah. this is a, a bit much for some. So that's where stockings could come into play. That's where a commando short would come into play or skims or whatever you're wearing under it. Um, even maybe a pant, I mean, a very slim legging, like whatever makes you feel comfortable, but it's more about texture for me. Sometimes I want sheer, sometimes I want the texture. Yeah. Which leads me to talk about the skirt that you have on. Yeah, this and is the lace. lace slip skirt. And I intentionally hiked up sort of the tight the way Sarah did because there is a slit on the side of this soft Landswool sweater, and I really wanted the red to peek through since the rest of the outfit is, I mean, the rest of the colorways are a little more subdued. Mm -hmm. um, I really wanted that hint, like pinch of color, um, and I think you know playing into like the difference between like a more sheer and like a, you know more opaque. You know, I really wanted the loudness at the bottom, whereas I think it's great. You know, if you were wearing the red sock and the white, you could get that little hint. Mm -hmm. You know. Too. Well, I think we're wearing what could, someone could deem uh, two of the most dressy things on the line. I, I don't think you could say that, but how to dress these down and wear them day to day. You're wearing this with a sweater, you're wearing yeah. it with a tight. If you had on a black boot for someone that's like, I'm not into the red sock, that's another way you can wear it. Or you could wear the red bronze with it here if you don't yeah. have the sock. And that would be great to go to um, the office. Yeah. Like, that would be a great GW outfit, putting on the bronze with I'm this. I'm going to pop one of the bronze over here. Speaking of the bronze in, um, but yes, the sweater is in my size. It's an extra, extra small. The skirt is a small. I would take an extra, extra small in that. Um, and these are the same not black material that we are doing in what is called the Granger that Sarah was wearing. Um, and this is the new Harper 
sky colorway coming very soon. Now I just want to show like super pragmatic, right? So we've gone from like super creative, CP, and now super pragmatic. So this is one that like, I think that this outfit is something that if I were traveling for vacation and needed like all these different like vibes at night, like if you're going to a short week into Paris or something, like this could really have you covered in so many different ways. Even just wearing um, this with like the big peacoat it feels like really fresh for going out yeah. to dinner or something, you know, like. Yeah, and it's really easy to utilize those items that can seem more pushed or more of like your, your fundamentals and your classics. And when they kind of are mixed together, it really, that's where you find the balance of the CP. Yeah, and I think too, like that's what this Gabe shirt is so good at because you can just manipulate it in so many different ways. Yeah. But I want to wear it too with your gray sweater. Well, I mean, for sure. We'll do a switch. Switch and switch. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's interesting to have been seeing so much online of people loving what they're calling the red sock trend um, and again you guys you know we don't believe in trends because I think that the red the red sock and the red tight serves such a purpose like it really does give that like I would actually I would totally wear the red sock and tight with Wait, will you stay right there? Yeah. Can we just see yeah. how that looks and yeah. see if I go crazy? Yeah. And I mean, to add, like again, to us, it wasn't a trend. It was, you know, common on the spring 23 runway for us. It's also red. It's been a prominent color to be past. Yeah, I feel Present like. Present and future. <laughs> I, I, it was funny. When we did the color wheel, it was something that we almost debated. Like, does red yeah. belong in neutrals? Because oddly enough for us, it really does belong in neutral. Um, but you can't put it in pop. No, I mean, it, I think it is your pop. It's a titty fundamental. Yeah. Like to us, it really, you know. Yeah, because yeah. this takes me back now into like a super creative world. Yeah. And that's what's great, really, when just something as simple as a sock can really change the yeah. whole dynamics of an outfit so mm -hmm. easily. No, absolutely. Um, and actually, because of that, I think I'm going to actually end on this look because I really do like what this red <laughs> it's gonna be so is because I saw your what? I didn't see your bum. Um, we're in a new place in the office here <laughs> doing this so uh, but these these red shoes are kind of they're kind of perfect. I mean they're really good. Yeah so again you guys just to give you an idea this heel looks deceptively high it's not like it's like the length of my, oh, oh look at you. Yeah. And wow. not, and you know what? Smurf inspired, but not bad. Not at all. Come wow. here. I love this. Everyone's okay. doing a red self in a red shoe. Actually, we should all just come out here at the end with our, yeah. This is, um, okay, I love this. Thank you. Um, so this is my super creative, and yeah. not because it's, color but because of how the color is paired yeah um so obviously we're really loving a red sock and really? shoe here um but again i'm wearing the same ronda pudra skirt with this detail built in and now i'm wearing the dule um oversized turtleneck with has a little kangaroo pouch here and um, this is in the blue color i'm wearing a size small i like that it's a bit oversized i want to feel um just a little bit more cozy and chic, and I think it's adding some volume yeah. that pushes this. Look. Yeah, I want to, you guys, this would have really, when we talk about wearing your clothes and thinking, expanding your view of how something can be worn, I think that when you look at this color and this texture, you're like, okay, that's with jeans. Totally. And then maybe I wear it with like a weird ring three brown mm -hmm. pant. We love like, not I'm not wearing this together because of the right, textures, but, the but like this colorway is really nice together. Mm -hmm. But I think that you've shown like, this is the one that you would wear on a Zoom call, laying on the couch at totally. home. But then you are absolutely full on going to a party oh, out yeah. at night. And it really is about the whole attitude mm -hmm. and how you throw things on together when each piece is so inherently you that you've got mm -hmm. all that chill modern classic baked in totally then you're wearing it and you're wearing it a ton mm -hmm. which is you know really like that's the, the goal that's the like, good ick this week had that little teddy bear who had been loved like crazy to pieces 
and teddy bear <laughs> no one should hair. ever like really say i wish that you know i had worn this less you, yeah. you don't you dive in and you someone said totally. that someone had pro proposed to someone to wear everything in their closet and see what they liked the most mm -hmm. and what this woman wrote to me she said i've actually been just going into my closet and seeing yeah. what i want to wear the most and then wearing the hell out of it totally. and not feeling any consciousness of no. wearing something you should wear three times a week that's meant, an honor it's meant to be worn yeah. um and then you know i was wearing the darwin belt before in a more classic way but i simply tied it in a knot here to again just like add a little bit of edge yep. i think simply just tying it in a loop and then i ditched the jewelry and decided to go with a twilly um yep. i'm just gonna show you guys the detail because i think that is what adds like mm -hmm. the that good it almost um this is from prada this is old prada um it's like one of my favorite print of theirs with the Bananas you really and do fire. it just cutting up any old scarf. Oh my god, yeah, you closet. can just cut up anything. I just actually, this was really not planned. I have, I like typically bring mm -hmm. a scarf like this with me everywhere. Same kind of reason that I bring a cardigan. Like, yeah. what if I want to like tie it on a bag or my hair? And I don't bring a scarf with me no. anywhere because, because it's it just freaking like, oh, it's, it's, but, my, it doesn't look like me. Totally. And I love the, but, that is what you can embrace. Like, thank oh, you. Or, or, or so whatever. this actually just, I mean, I was like, I really want to wear this sweater. I really want to wear these shoes. And then the colors just felt like really rep it. represented here. I'm just going to, wow, it's really. So big. before we say goodbye, why don't we kind of bring everyone out here together? Because I think everyone's kind of doing something different. It's like, let's push it tight, guys. Bring it in here, really. Um, yeah, but everyone's like wearing normal clothes, but you've all twisted it in different way. And we all three have on red socks. And you mean my mom? Um, I love this. And you're wearing this texture for evening as well. Mm -hmm. It's all good. All right, guys. So remember, wear your clothes, play with your clothes. They can be your best friend. <laughs> have other friends too. Like, real friends. <laughs> all right, guys. See you later. See you next week.